All right, you know him from the hit reality TV show Hardcore Pawn, which is based right here in the Motor City. And this morning, one of the stars of the true TV show, Les Gold, is joining us live in the studio to talk about his business and his latest book. It's titled, For What It's Worth, Business Wisdom from a Pawn Broker. And it is such a pleasure to have you with thank us this you morning. Thank you so much for having me, really. Thank you. Yeah, good thank morning, you. Superstar. We got lots to talk about. We could do a 30-minute segment with we you. We could. But let's focus on this book right off the bat. Okay. This has kept you very busy. What does it offer the average person? Well, you know what? This is a book that talks about my journey. It talks about me, my first sale at seven years old when I worked for my grandfather on Skid Row. <laughs> talks about the development of me in the pawn shop business, building a 50,000 square foot facility in the city of Detroit. It talks about me becoming a reality television phenomenon on True TV, getting over three million viewers right across the world. So it's been such a ride. It's, it's, it's just extraordinary. What is the biggest misconception people have about your, you know, your rise to success? Well, there is no misconception. You know, pawnbroking has been around for 3,000 years. You know, I was an, a pawnbroker when I was a kid. You know, they, they come into the store south of 8 Mile. They can see something that's really exciting, you know. We become now, because we're a, around the world, it's a, uh, a tourist destination. So people cross 8 Mile to come visit us. It's been an extraordinary ride. Extraordinary. Any secrets to your success? Because I was looking through the book, and I know you said the first Mr. Michigan gave you some advice and in regards to rating that. I didn't think there was any secret to success, is there? Well, there's a lot of secrets to success. <laughs> you know, one of the things that, that he had tr taught me was to realize every morning when you wake up, ask yourself one question, how bad do you want it? Mm -hmm. That's the key. It's hard work, right? It's hard work. And in the book, you're going to read about how to negotiate. Um, what makes my book different than all other ones also is the reason that I don't just talk to employers in this book. It's, a, it's, a, it's an autobiography business book, so I talk about employers, how they treat and run a business, and employees, how to be more successful. So that's the really the key. And, sure. and the main key is the negotiating aspect of it. When you read and this book... And you're so good at negotiating. You, you just read that book. You, I promise, Alicia, you will be a All great right. negotiator. Alicia, he doesn't like to I, hear no either. I knows know. Worst I know. I know. You know what? Yeah. No's okay. And, and you'll realize that... It, you know, you're not going to hear yes your whole life. Oh. No is not a bad thing. It's, it'll make you stronger. Also, change is good, you say in the book. Change is very good. You know, if, you, if you're stagnant, it's not good. So mm -hmm. keep your eye on the prize. Change every day. Look at what's important. You'll be successful. Is it just a wild situation to think about where you were, where the company was, let's just say, five, six years ago? Well, we were still in the 50,000 square foot facility, but we didn't have an international yeah. hit reality show. It's just been such an extraordinary ride, you know, to end your life, and I'm not saying that it's ending, but in years to come, I mean, I'm older than my two kids, Ashley and Seth, and, you know, to, to look at what I've done and, and how it's affected Detroit, you know, we've made Detroit, like I said, a tourist destination. It's so exciting to me to be a native Detroiter and to give back to the city. It's just extraordinary. It's great. And so. it's exciting for us, too, to see your success. And we were um, looking at the book. There's even uh, a little note from Josh Elliott on the back cover of this. You were just in New York yesterday. I was. And how cool is that? that well, you know what? We're, you guys are friends. Well, really, right now when I go to Good Morning America, because I'm a regular on there, yeah. I don't even need my ID anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for my <laughs> ABC you badge, you know. <laughs> so I know my way around. Josh is just such a wonderful, wonderful guy. Lara Spencer, I, I just can't say enough. You know, George and, and everybody at, at GMA has just been so wonderful to us. It's been an extraordinary, extraordinary ride. And, and for you guys having me on ABC in Detroit, I'm so grateful. So well, we grateful. appreciate you supporting GMA. GMA, and we appreciate you supporting us here on 7 Action News this morning as well, my friend. Well, always, always a pleasure to be here. And really fast, they did unveil a, a sandwich in your oh, honor in New York man. yesterday. It was <laughs> unbelievable. They called it the hardcore pawn sandwich. Yeah. It was probably this tall, right. you know, turkey, tongue, I know that sounds wild, and hard salami. It's been an extraordinary couple of days back in New York. It's been great. All right, you're the man, superstar. Enjoy the ride. Thanks Thank for you. making Detroit out there public. This Thank is the you. book, For What It's Worth, Business Wisdom from a Pawn Broker by Les Gold. Always bet on gold, right? Always bet on gold. Thank you so much. Thank you very Over much. To you, buddy. <laughs> All right.